Hi friends! The auto fill feature helps in entering a lot of repetitive information into Excel 2013 and the flash fill feature helps in formatting the information as per your requirement. Here's how you can use these two features in an Excel 2013 worksheet. Open Excel 2013 and then open a sheet. Here for demonstration, we have four sheets named as Test 1, Test 2, Test 3, and Test 4. Let's start with Test 1 sheet. Here we have A column for dates. Let's enter a date and then select the cell. Now, here you can drag the fill handle downward to auto-fill the date series. It will simply fill the date series. To change it, click on the auto-fill options button and then select the option you want. We selected years, so the data has been filled in year series. Now let's see the C, D and E columns in which we have entered the data, first name, middle name and last name. Now in F column, we need the data containing the first name and last name. To do so, just type the first and last name and press the Enter key. Start typing the first name and you will see that the flash fill function will automatically show the series of data in the entire column. Just press the down arrow key on your keyboard to apply it. Now let's apply another method to use it. Remove the data and drag the fill handle downward to auto-fill the data. Click on the Auto-Fill Options button and then select Flash Fill. Now let's move to the sheet named Test 2. Here on the cell D6, it contains a date. Just select the cell and you can drag the fill handle down, up, right or left. Click on the Auto-Fill Options button and then select Fill Years. Here we get the hash common formula error. No problem. Just double-click on the right border of the column header to increase the column width automatically. Let's move to the sheet named Test 3. Here we have Numbers column which contains the number 1. Just select the cell and drag the fill handle down to fill series. Let's remove the fill data and enter 2 in cell A3. Now select the cells A2 and A3 and then drag the fill handle down to fill series. Let's try the same with more variables and see the result. You can use this fill series function with any type of data value. We can also use this with formulas. See how the autofill feature functions with name series. It also works with time. Let's enter a time value in D3 cell to see how it fills data in time series. See how it works with date. Click on the autofill options button and here you can select fill days, fill weekdays, fill months or fill year with date data. See how it works with weekdays. By default, it will always fill series. You need to click on the Auto Fill Options button in order to choose the option of your choice. See, the Auto Fill function works perfectly with quarters too. However, when you use the same with year, it will just copy the cells. Here you need to click on the Auto Fill Options button to choose the option of your choice. Now let's go to the last sheet named Test 4 to see how the Flash Fill feature works. Here we have two cells, B2 and B3, containing phone numbers. If we use the Autofill function, it will just show the phone numbers in series. To change and correct it, click on the Autofill Options button and then select Flash Fill. Hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.